What's happening, people? It's me, Sahil. I'm back again. I'm in Boston this time. So I've got this uh, DJI Osmo Action 4 um, to start vlogging some more. And I feel kind of weird walking down the street. It's kind of a long selfie stick. I think you can see its shadow on my face. So it's kind of crazy. But um, I'm going to try up my game for you guys. So I've got some Boston facts for you here. I'm in Boston, Massachusetts, which is one of the oldest cities in the United States. Founded in 1630, and was walked into a pole right here. The city grew rapidly, becoming a center for trade, for commerce and intellectual pursuits in the new world. Boston also played a crucial role in the American Revolution, being the site of events like the Boston Tea Party. I'm sure you guys heard of that. The Boston Tea Party in 1773 was a key protest against British taxation policies where colonists dumped tea into the Boston Harbour. As an Indian, I think I can relate. Boston is known as the Cradle of Liberty due to its historical significance in American independence. I'm actually just walking past MIT, which is a, a massive university here in Boston. We've seen that they're known all over the world right next to it, just walk past it, just coincidentally. It's incredible to think all the cool tech that's in this building, all the future scientists and... Anyway, back to my facts. Ah, my next fact is actually a fact about Boston University. So that's kind of a coincidence. The city is home to several prestigious universities, including Harvard University and MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Harvard, founded in 16... 36 is the oldest institution of higher learning in the United States. MIT, established in 1861, is renowned for its focus on science, engineering and technology. Boston's Fenway Park is the oldest Major League Baseball stadium still in use. There's a lot of old things in Boston. I'm not going to lie, it's probably fitting I'm here. Boston's nickname Beantown is derived from the city's historical association with baked beans. I did not fucking know that. What the fuck? That's a new fact for me. And the nickname reflects Boston's culinary heritage and enduring cultural traditions. I need to find out more about Beantown right now because that's blowing my mind. Boston Beantown. Get yourself a little bike, Massachusetts. Blue bikes. Got the blue bike. Got the blue bike. They're pretty cool. £2.95, get a code, pay with your credit or debit card, okay. I have no idea how this work, get, fuck, there seems to be a ticket here already. Okay, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, there's no one here to ask, how do I get a bike out? Hmm. How the fuck do I get a bike? This is bad, it's attacking me, yo. What do you want, bro? <laughs> ah, you got shit, bro. Puss, yo. Don't mess with, don't mess with a man then, bro. I don't give a fuck if you're a bird, bro. Don't attack me like that. <laughs> That bird attacked me twice. I was mad. It's time to go back the same way I just came. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry to bother you. Is this the way to Magazine Beach? Any chance? Do you know? I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I'm just trying to get here. Know. Magazine Beach? Towards the towards the Charles River? This way, yeah? Charles River. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, it's that way. Yeah, yeah keep going that way. Yeah. Alright, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. So one thing, uh, I was flying this already, the Mini 4, and I've got to say, I was missing the long lens. Like, I think there's like a 70mm lens on the uh, DJI Air 3. Like, the, the wide lens just feels a bit too wide. It was a bit, I couldn't get close enough to get kind of like dolly movements, which is what I like to do on drones. And uh, I used the Cine 3 out in Iceland, Cine 3 Pro. 
got a video, should be going up that music video soon. So by the time this goes out, the music video should be up. I'll post a link to it in the description. But yeah, I did a bit of BTS there. Yeah, that was a mad one. It was with my mate, uh, Powell, Ed Maddox. We were all friends from university. And yeah, we just flew out to Iceland. And originally I took the DJI Varta out there. And uh, I hadn't really thrown FEV before, so I was kind of just like, I bought a, um, a Varta 1, started practicing in a simulator, two weeks straight, practicing every day. The drone, everything came just in time for the trip. And uh, yeah, I went to, took it out for the first time in Iceland, which is kind of dumb in hindsight. And uh, it was way too windy. I'll play some of the clips here. I just couldn't fly with it. So the next day, we got in touch with these guys. We went to this drone company, I forget the name, but check the description. There's an amazing drone rental company in Iceland. If you know anyone who needs a drone in Iceland, they hooked us up. I was gonna hire the Air 3 there, because of budget, but they only had the Cine 3 Pro. So I was like, shit, that's a sign. So we hired it out three days. That's one of the best drones I've ever flown. And we got some sick footage. But yeah, check out my shop. I've got some new kit coming in. Got the Mini 4 on there. I'm gonna have a bunch of other stuff. Uh, so yeah, make sure you check out my shop. It's on Fat Llama, on Wedio. You can rent my gear. Again, links in the description. Please check it out, support me. Hire my stuff if you're in London. Anyway, I digress. So check out the music video. Check out the shop. Multiple plugs going off. Excuse me, guys. Sorry, I'm just a tourist. So I just need some help with directions, if you got a sec. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm trying to get on this magazine beach, like inside of it, because I want to um, fly my drone there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you might zoom out a little bit. Oh, okay. So I went down there, but it was like a dead end, I think. Yeah. yeah. You've not been there before? Nah. Oh, for real. Oh, no worries. Those flip phones? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone always thinks they're cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah. I haven't broken it yet, that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, but Just, yeah. Do you know the rules about uh, drones here? What is it? Was it? very particular because we're yeah. technically in Class B airspace. Oh, so right. If you get an app called Before yeah. You Fly, it'll yeah. tell you all the stuff you need. Okay, so I can check the geofencing, DJI geofencing, and said, it said over here should be all right. Okay. It's just an enhanced zone, so I just need to like... Yeah, yeah. Like, so you, like probably yeah. fine, but... Yeah. You know, just, life without a little risk. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's what traveling's all about. Yeah, yeah, sure. uh, we should, so do you think yeah, I should, so should go across the bridge? I should go across the... Probably that way. Probably that way? Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, okay. That's, I dude, that's really dumb of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank you, man. Have a good one. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a great day. I was being a dumbass. It's right here. I see it. I was on the side of the road. Anyway, thanks to that guy. He's cool. He's a cool guy. Um, you need to be careful with the drone thing now because it's a bit sketch. He said, it's a class B, did he say class B zone? What? I didn't say that in DJI. There's kids around, people doing yoga, sunset. It's a beautiful day, man. Beautiful day. It's crazy. This is uh, Charles River. Hopefully we can fly, let's take this baby for a spin. So as you know, this is a sub 250 gram drone. Been out for a little while and uh, many Mini 3 owners are very upset about this drone coming out. Okay, I'm recording internally on the controller, so let's see if that works. With the 64 ND on. I'll take it up. Updated. Okay, we've got 150 meters, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Let's uh, turn this up to 54K. It's pretty sick that this can do this. I don't know if I'm in D log. Let's see if we can change this to D log. Here we go. Clap. Cool, let's go. Let me just take it up on auto for now and then we can fuck with the settings if we need. So let's just get up first and see what's around us. 100 meters here. I think we're good at 100 meters, you know. 
There's the sun. A little bit of cloud coverage, unfortunately. It's going to do a nice little, just move forward for now. 150 meters now away. Good reception. Full of bars on the RC. 88% on the battery. Let's come down a bit here. Get some. Just follow this. That's a great shot. Oh, that looks sick. Nice. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. No, I don't want to put it on sport mode because I don't have any uh, obstacle avoidance. There's a bit of light there. I can work with. I'm going to go a little bit higher. Ah, oh, we got some rowers here. I'm going to try and get these guys in shot. See the pinch here is really where it's at for these kind of shots. Just kind of bringing it round. Is that the rowers? Yeah, we've got some rowers here. Um, see, I'm just able to maintain the shot for a lot longer. Back to the pinch. I really want to get closer to these guys and I'm really missing that extra lens, you know. I think it's super helpful to have. Let's do a little fly over this bridge here. I think this could be a really cool shot. Let's readjust a little bit. I'm just going to follow. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That's stunning. With the sun in the back. Let's get that. Let's go get up. Sometimes simple is just best, you know. I don't need nothing fancy. Just a push forward. Let's just see if we can use this building or something. Back to the pinch. Oh yeah, that's that's what we need right there. That's what we need right there. Five hundred meters away. Just gonna do a little fly through these buildings. That's stunning. This is a beautiful shot, man. I think if I came out a tiny bit earlier, it would have been even better. Let's switch it to uh, just normal, so I can see what the color is like. Actually, we could have to have like a gamma assist. Oh, okay, that's better. That's better. No. See, this is what it's going to look like. But, I mean, this side of the city is where really like the light is right now. So, you see, that at this situation, this is where I want to like get the long lens, do you know what I mean? And just like add a different dynamic to what I'm doing. It's such an easy move, this one, and it looks freaking amazing. And I do this on the gimbal all the time, and it's such a cool shot. Sometimes you just go, go with the moment, you know what I mean? These guys just came. Just gonna bring it above him a little bit. Slow it down a tiny bit. Slow it down. See, the long lens here would just be incredible because I could just get right next to them without letting them know. I'll have to bring it back in a sec. I'm going to get that warning in a second, I know. Battery level is low. Aircraft will return to the home point in 10 seconds. Mm, getting a return to home at 21%. I'm just going to try and so we bring it down. Landing. Every time new battery holders are, I don't know if the Mini 3 batteries work in this, I don't actually know. But I'm assuming not. I'm going on vertical. 
see you get some vertical shots on this battery. See so you can get some good stuff. Yep, check complete. Should just gently tap and pull. Oh. Good thing about this, I got sensors in the back, so I don't need to worry too much. Line of sight. Good, I think we can just keep going. Get a bit nervous sometimes. It's nice to sit down actually do this. I've got to fly away anyway. That's a good thing, I know, even if I lose it's only gonna cost me a couple hundred quid. No buildings there, so we are good. Oh, good line of sight, line of sight. I'm just pulling the back as far as I can right now. Still on full back bars, on max reach. altitude, so I'm just pulling back now. Uh, see, the thing about the vertical is when you're using the screen, when, when you're using the screen in the vertical, it's much harder to see what you're doing. So I don't think a lot of people talk about that, but if there was a way to use this vertically or to get a vertical screen or something, that might be really helpful to doing this. Another thing is, when you are in the vertical mode, the panning seems a lot slower. Maybe it's just because I'm on cine mode, but it seems a lot slower. It's getting real dark now. Come super low. Come over the water. I'm gonna get like a FBB style shot. I'm gonna go too low, maybe. Yeah. Have a look. That's pretty fucking cool. Okay, that's that's the money show right there. Look at that. That's absolutely stunning, lads. What a shot. That's the lights here is not as nice, but still a pretty cool shot. Oh, that ended up being a pretty cool shot unintentionally. It's got a tiny bit of the gimbal going here. Pull away. In the back, I don't, I don't, I didn't know, I don't know where, what's behind me. So I'm just kind of flying. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back now. All right, well that's it, folks. I'm bringing it down, and um, hope you enjoyed that flight. Landing. I'm taking the Pini for quite a few flights with the RC controller. The Mini 4 here, this one is kind of just really building on everything that's DJI really done with the Mini series. Um, even here, like it's super quiet, I was able to fly it without issue. It's not a particularly windy day, but I flew it the other day when it was really windy and there was a storm brewing in Mississippi. Uh, and we were like in, no, we were in Memphis near the Mississippi River and um, we're filming on some farm. I'll put a couple of clips up now. But yeah, like this is, this handled it pretty well. Like considering how small it was, I was really shocked. And obviously you need to be careful, like that was quite a safe place because there was nothing around us. Um, there's no tall buildings. And there were a couple really difficult moments where like it was getting battered in the wind. Hopefully I can show you some clips of that. But yeah, generally speaking, like, this Mini 4 is really good. Uh, but like, like I was saying in the video, the thing that I really wish this had was a second lens. And I think if there's one way to make this better, now it's got all the sensors on it. Do you know what I mean? It's like, got basically like a lot of 
a lot of the stuff that the big drones have you know it's basically on par with them it's got 4k 50 60 if you're in the states you shoot 60 30 fps but basically yeah you can get a decent amount of slow-mo 4k um, just for that extra bit you know sometimes you need that extra second on the clip or whatever um, it's got multiple sensors all around it I'm sure if you're watching this you've flown it you've watched other reviews on it or something along the lines I'm not going to tell you everything about this lens it's not really this drone it's not really a review of the drone um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this um, learn a little bit about Boston about this drone is something I would highly recommend if you haven't flown before that like this is a great drone to start out with got a bunch of sensors on it it's super small light you get a decent amount of flight time I did one and a half batteries there and I was satisfied you know so I've got three batteries with it and only thing you need to be careful with is, is the wind and the lack of a second camera on this you know I, it's easier to get bored like if you're just shooting the wide you know you can't use this as much for like substitute for gimbal work or um, you know other types of camera work you can like I can use the Air 3 and the zoom lens on the Air 3 obviously this has just got that one lens so you know you're kind of limited in what kind of shots you can do but if you're in a controlled space then you can be close to your subject but uh, you know I think when you, when I was trying to shoot those uh, rowers on the river like what I wanted to do is just get closer you know and I think with this I was a bit worried about getting closer obviously I just got it as well so I was like a bit nervous about flashing it on like one of the first few flights I've taken on it so that was the sort of factor that was playing up in my mind generally speaking this drone is really good for a beginner and you know the features that it's missing this issues that you have when you fly more you want to like get closer you want to try a different lens length focal length so you can like try different shots like you get more compression with the, with the longer lens you know you can do more interesting kind of dolly movements safer but the flip side to that is if you're using an air 3 or a cine 3 pro with a long lens you kind of need it more because you can actually get closer with this without worrying as much obviously it still might hurt someone but like if you're working in a crew everyone's on board you know what i mean you've got good communication then you can get quite close with this without issue and it's got all the sensors in it so nobody's going to get hurt most likely but also there is the added thing of like yeah someone might not get hurt but you might lose your drone uh, and also like i say you get more compression with those longer lenses so you're able to like create more kind of cinematic shots that's one of the things i really liked about using the cine 3 and the air 3 is just getting that extra lens um also wind wise you know you have a bit more flexibility in terms of how you're going to use it I should say this is not waterproof where the dji cine 3 is got some water resistance so you can use it in the rain or the snow so lots of things to consider but you know came out today to fly the drone give you my thoughts and hopefully a lot more of this kind of content coming your way soon and i hope you enjoy it so you know hit that like button uh, show me some love starting out appreciate your support and I'll catch you in the next one peace out guys